Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about changing strings on your Irish tenor banjo. We have two options with this, to replace one string at a time or to remove them all and replace them all at once. If you remove them all, you're going to have to reposition the bridge and set your intonation for the banjo, which we will cover uh, in upcoming episodes. So today we're going to do option one, replacing one string at a time. I'm going to do my best uh, to show this. It might be hard with the videotape. Um, I'm going to move it around and, and show you what I do. Um, there's more than one way to, to do this, but this is the way I do it and it seems to work. First thing we're going to do is to remove the old string. Uh, you'll notice I leave my ends long. Um, I do that while I set up the banjo. Um, another reason was uh, to, for this videotape because I actually don't need a string change right now. Uh, my strings are still good so it allows me to take it off put it back on. Uh, simply unwind your tuning peg. You'll loosen the slack off the banjo. You, I like to pull up on the string. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, just keeping tension, it helps it unwind from the tuning peg until you get to the, the last wind down here. And slide it out. If you're discarding the strings, you can cut them with cutters um, down here at the, the tailpiece. Some tailpieces, uh, you simply slide them out like that. Others, you don't have the cut up here so you have to go through when you go through make sure um, you don't let the ends uh, get the head you could you could puncture scratch the head of the banjo uh, here are some strings They'll, you can get a set um, that come in plastic envelopes paper envelopes uh, simply pull it out of the envelope un unwrap it it's all coiled up just unwrap it you'll end up with a, with a string. Hook it on the end of the tailpiece. Route it through the front of the tailpiece. Try to get it snug. Position across the bridge. Keeping tension forward on the string. You're going to go up to this end and route the end through the hole in the tuning peg. Um, you're going to want a few inches of uh, slack above the, the fingerboard there. And you're going to keep upward pressure on it and start winding the tuning peg. You want the loose end to go under your string for the first wrap around. And I will try to do this again and zoom in, so stick with me here. Now when you get back around to where the string originally came through the tuning peg, this is where you want to go under that string with the string going down towards the tailpiece. At this point, the loose end, I fold up and go under that as well, still keeping pressure up on it. Turn the tuning peg, get it into position up here at the nut, and get, get tension on it. And a little bit more tension and at that point your string is on and you can attach your tuner and tune it up okay so here I am you can see the string comes out through the tuning peg there and is under the main string which I'm keeping pressure on towards the tailpiece to keep it in place I'm gonna get one wrap around and you can see where the string is right there I want to go under that so I'm keeping pressure down towards the tailpiece and pushing down to guide that string under that first wrap now you can see my tail end is pulled up I want to stay under that as well that way the string is not putting pressure on itself um, which is uh, one reason why strings break down at that end and there you have it. Okay, so you notice I have my strings long. Um, that's I keep them long uh, typically for a couple days as I adjust, just in case I need to take it off. It's easier when the string is long. After I'm all set up, 
um, and happy with it, then I'll cut them short back right at the end of the, the tuners there. Okay, so I just make a loop, put it through once, put it through twice, done. Okay, and there we have it. I hope that uh, gave you the confidence to uh, try your own string change. It's, it's really not that difficult after you do it once or twice. Um, so give it a shot. If you have any problems or questions, put it in the comments below. There's plenty of people here that are happy to, to help you out. Good luck. Keep plucking.